all the way to New Delhi. Look it, he's not ready yet. I'm going to try getting my hand underneath, see if without my glove, see if I can just hold him there for one second in the water. Gorgeous colors. I mean, they're camouflage. You can see the way they blend in with the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to try holding them right there. You know, I can't get over the beautiful colors. See these white speckles? You can see them easier if you look at the part of the fish that's in the water than up here. It reminds me of the spots on an Arctic grayling when we're up in the Northwest Territories in Nunavut. And then he's got the, the actual spots that almost look like spots like eyes back here. And that's probably to fool any bigger snakehead that would try to eat this guy. Because of their body shape, they can get almost anywhere. And I've actually seen snakehead come right out of the water and go up on shore, grab a frog and go back down. So they do behave kind of like a snake. Okay, I'm going to just try to open his mouth. Hopefully he's not hooked as bad as I think. I'll tell you what, they've got uh, strong jaws. I should have had my spreader with me. Okay, I see the hook, so it's not too bad. You know, probably the local fishermen from the tribe here would want me to keep this fish, but I'm releasing most of the fish. Isn't that a gorgeous sight? Look at that fish. You know, this is just one of the many species you can catch here in this part of India. We're in Orissa province. We're in the northeast side of India, very close to the Bay of Bengal, fishing some of the freshwater rivers. And these fish you can actually sight cast to, so I can't imagine having my fly rod. So I'm just going to lay them back down in the water. Beautiful, beautiful fish.